My name is Innocent Diego Ocheng. Uh, I serve as uh, AFGN Youth Coordinator in Uganda and also work uh, at John Paul II Justice Service Center in the Department of Administration. Ever since I came into contact with AFJN, there have been a lot of uh, humbling experiences, especially on the different areas that they're dealing with, the social justice areas. I'm here to talk about uh, the big workshop that was held from 27th to 30th in Uganda by AFJN at John Paul II Justice and Peace Center premises. The workshop was a wonderful experience for both the young people and the old. The things that we learned is going to create a big impact in the various areas, especially for the people that attended. We ensured that we invited people from all parts of the country and we are very glad that they all turned up in good numbers. The greatest experience that uh, most people exercised was in the areas of advocacy. People had challenges, you know, to un un understanding what advocacy was. But uh, Father Nidhi and Sister Yokeria made it very clear to people what advocacy is and its importance. We also had an opportunity of discussing the various social issues, both within Uganda and outside Uganda, especially in Africa. And we had an opportunity of deliberating on them and coming out the possible and coming out with the possible solution to such challenges. So we believe that the lessons that we learned in the workshop and through the ideas or the feedback that we got from the people that attended the workshop, we believe that there are going to be lives that will change just through the experiences that were learned. Um, another great thing that was learned was on the area of uh, the impact of COVID-19 you know, on the education of teenage girls in Uganda. We realized that, um, of course, through the funding of FJN, uh, the nationwide study was done, and it was brought to light you know, how COVID-19 had disrupted you know, the education of the young girls in Uganda. So the report was widely circulated to all parts of the country, and also to the responsible line ministries, especially the Parliament, Ministry of Education, and other agencies that deal in the area of gender, uh, girl, child, and education. So we believe that uh, approaching them in that line and with such information, we believe that there's going to be a lot of impact. We believe that the information, the advocacy information that we're providing them will help a lot in changing policy, and maybe even at some point, you know, impacting on the laws surrounding that. So it was a great experience uh, through the workshop. We, the young people, learned a lot, including the old people that attended the workshop. And we are very confident that the things that we have learned, the information that was shared in the workshop, would lead to a lot of change in the country. And the participants were suggesting that if it's possible, you know, such engagements, you know, over time, such engagements keep happening so that they keep on updating, you know, we keep on interacting and updating each other on how far or what we can do in the area of advocacy and see a way of uh, fighting certain uh, social injustices within our community. So the workshop was a great experience and we are looking forward to putting what we learned in the workshop into serious practice. Thank you so much, AFJN, and we are very glad to have you as our partner in Uganda.